Hi there, and welcome to my channel, Enhance Fitness with Sean. That's me. I'm so glad you're here, and I'm really excited. This is going to be an unboxing video. And you're like, what's an unboxing video? Unboxing means taking something out of the box. It's a little more than that. It's basically a review of a product. Um, in a class, in a studio, we would do about um, a few minutes, five to 10 minutes warm up, about 20 minutes of cardio or endurance to get our heart rate up. Then we do about 15 or 20 minutes of weights for the arms and the legs, and then a stretching. The whole class takes about an hour. If you come here to look at weights and you're in your 20s or 30s and you're buff and you're a bodybuilder, this is not for you. Um, this is for my population that I work with, with enhanced fitness, mostly older adults. Some are able-bodied and some are in wheelchairs, but nonetheless, we all do the weights section at the end of class. So for the arm weights, generally enhanced fitness, the program suggests that we use a cuff and we do four, only four types of exercises for the arm. We do the deltoid in the front of the shoulder. We do the back of the delta, back of the shoulder. We do the bicep exercise, here's my bicep, and we do the tricep, which is the back of the upper arm. We do the tricep exercise. And in general, the program recommend we use cuffs. I have some cuffs here that I'm about to show you and I'm about to unbox, although I don't think it's a box, I think it's a package. So we're gonna unpackage and look at it and review it. Um, but before that, I want to look at what other options you might have at home uh, for you to use straight away. The reason I'm doing this is because it's July 2020, there's a coronavirus pandemic out there, and our gyms and our classes are all shut, so we're having to work out online. So I want to give you some ideas that might fit in with your budget and your preferences for what you could use at home. The first times that you do the weights program, I would really like you to use no weights. And really work on your form. Once you're, so you want to make sure you're not slouched when you're doing your weights, that so you're up nice and tall, your chest is lifted, your chin is level. And then you want to make sure, for instance, when we're lifting our arm, this is for our shoulder, the front of our shoulder, our deltoid muscle. You want to make sure you're not lifting your shoulders or scrunching. So you want to make sure your form is nice when you're lifting. So the first thing I'm going to say is that when we're working with arm weights, uh, when we're working with arm weights, we can use everything from a, a little tiny uh, dumbbell, this is called. So that's your, that's your classic dumbbell. It's got a number, number two. So I know what the weight is. It's also, it's purple, lilac. So I can tell by the color generally that it's that color. It signifies it's two pounds in this system, I guess. So if I was looking for another one, I'd make sure I grab another one the same color. And um, the only problem with all of these, these weights that I'm about to show you is that they involve gripping. And as we get older, we do get arthritis in our hands. I know I have some deformity already in my hands from arthritis, and our grip gets progressively weaker as we get older. So generally the program recommended a cuff that's just a weight placed around your wrist is better because your hand can just stay relaxed. You don't have to grip. Um, however, if you have weights at home, you could use this kind of a weight. These are made from iron and they're covered in neoprene on the outside, or you can get ones covered in shiny vinyl. They're basically, they're not, they're not slippery. They're not sticky either, but they're nice to grip. And if you feel that your grip is strong enough, this is, this is a great type of weight to use for your arm. And you might start with a one or two pound weight, and then you might build up. Sometimes in the studio, some of my people who have been with me for four years are moving up to four or five pound weights, but you certainly wouldn't start with that. So that's your classic dumbbell. <laughs> I just brought these in because these are hysterical. Um, I picked these up years ago when I was a student. These are antiques. <laughs> this is also a dumbbell. They're five pounds each. They're plastic coated, and I think they don't, they don't really wrap them. I think they have sand in them, but they've never, they've never leaked out. What I think is so funny about them is that you can't buy anything like this nowadays, but they're perfectly serviceable. 
they were probably a few years old when I got them, 35 years ago. So they're, um, yeah, they are, they're at five pounds, they're easy to hold. They're probably not BPA free plastic. They're old fashioned plastic. And what I love is they're, I'm gonna bring this up close so you can really see it. It's, it's this disgusting uh, kind of mustardy, puce, ecru, beige color that's attempting to look like gold but very clearly is just plastic. This is for your bodybuilder. This is, a, oh my goodness, this is what my husband uses. What I like about it though, it's got a little spring clip at the end, and each of these is called a plate, a weight plate. Um, I'm just showing you for interest sake. I'm not suggesting anybody should use that in my program, but just so that you could see that there are these really nice weights, and what's nice is this is adjustable, so you can take any of these plates off and change the weight of the product. And that's the secret, that's what I want to talk about, is adjustable weights. Now, if your grip is good, and I actually really don't recommend this, but if you really don't want to spend any money, you can take two tin cans. These, I need my glasses. These ones say they are one pound each of Trader Joe's refried beans. Let's weigh them and find out really what do they weigh. Okay. One pound, two and a half ounces. So it's just over a pound. So you could use this for your weights section of our class. Definitely you could use that. Um, again, I, I'm only placing this as a suggestion, not really a recommendation because your hands need to be quite wide and grip this pretty strongly. The paper is slippery. There's a good chance you might drop this on yourself. I don't want people to get hurt in my program. This is definitely not prescribed by the program. But if you really don't want to spend any money, this might be something that you have at home. And I'll let you be the, the judge and decider. But I'm not going to recommend it. I'm just showing you as an alternative. You could also take some kind of a, a this is a, like a gallon, yeah, a gallon jug. You could fill it with as much water as you need. You could place it on your weighing scales and get the weight exactly that you wanted, maybe one pound, maybe one and a half. And the nice beauty of this is, like I said, it's adjustable. Adding a different amount of water each time would make it a different weight, and you could use two of these. Again, this is free, you decide. It's a smaller handle to have to grip, but again, it's got that gripping. And gripping is, uh, you know, if your grip is weak, I don't recommend that but it's certainly better than a tin can. So that could be another thing that you could use at home, find at home and repurpose if you wanted weights for free. All right, let's move on to uh, cuffs because that's really what this is about. And I don't want to keep you waiting too much longer. I'm going to show you the prime cuff and I'm going to bring this up because I don't have one right now. So I'm going to bring this up and show you just a picture that I took off the internet. These are the cuffs that we use when we're in the studio. And you can see it unrolls and it opens out and in each of those little tiny pockets you can put an iron rod and each of those rods when added up will give you a five pound weight that you can put around your ankle you can also get them for your wrist and this is adjustable so here's that word again you can adjust it to make it just the right weight why would you want adjustable because well, when I unbox my, my new cuff weight, you will see that it only comes in one weight. So when you get stronger and you decide you want something a little heavier, you have to buy another weight. So there's more expense, constantly buying weights, and you have to store the things. They take up space. So I like this idea of the adjustable cuff. And um, these are generally pretty well made. They've lasted our studio, oh, a pretty long time. I, I, I don't know how long we've had them. I'm going to say five years, maybe more, and that's sort of a fair bit of use. You've probably seen me working out with these. This is also an antique, but you can buy things almost exactly like this. This goes around your ankle, and then you put the Velcro strap through the little loop, there's a little grommet, and you put it through. I've got two straps on this one, and now you have a nice weight that you can take your, we do quadriceps with weights on. We stand up and we do hamstrings. We do abductor exercise. 
and then I'll show you sideways, we go straight back to work on glute. So those are the four big exercises that we use weights for, and we have sit seated versions of all of those. So the nice thing about this weight, again, it is adjustable. This is um, an antique, but you can buy something almost exactly the same nowadays on a big retailer online. I'm not going to mention any names, um, but I will show you how it's adjustable. At the top, I'll come a little closer so you can see this. At the top, there's a piece of Velcro that opens, and inside is a little pocket with, you see that? Ta-da! A little sandbag. So, this is this now, uh, each sandbag weighs a pound. So now, there are one, two, three, four, five sections. So now this weighs four pounds. So if I wanted a slightly lighter weight, I could save that for later, and now I have a four pound weight. Now that might be ideal for my arms. Let's see if it fits around my wrist. So one of the problems with buying a lot of the cuff weights is they don't fit around a small woman's wrist. And of course they do have to be able to be adjustable to fit a small woman's wrist or a large man's ankle. It's slipped, it slipped an inch. So that's the problem with these, is that that's, it's slipping as I lift it. There it goes, see, it's, so it's slipping up and down. So it doesn't feel that stable. It feels very good on my ankle, by the way. I have used this many times on my ankle. Be careful, don't buy the one with four packets. Make sure you read your reviews before you buy them. People who bought ones with only four packets of sand said that it ended up being a square. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a square ankle. That's not very comfortable. The five is not that bad. It's not, it's not terribly uncomfortable. So um, I recommend the one with five. And make sure it either has a large wide strap or two straps. And read the reviews. Make sure you're getting a pair if you have a pair of legs. Right? Okay, because some, sometimes they'll only ship you one of them. Here we are. This is the unboxing. It's not a box. It came as a plastic package. I guess they figured it wasn't fragile, so it doesn't seem to be padded. It's just a thin plastic, thin plastic bag. And inside is a plastic bag. Okay, this is made by ProSource Fit. I'm just going to bring this up so you can see it clearly who it's made by. ProSource Fit. And this is an ankle or wrist cuff, that's how it's advertised. It's grey, it weighs two pounds each, there's a pair of them in here. And uh, let's put them on. The disadvantage is they're not adjustable. This is a two pound weight and it is only a two pound weight. There are two of them in the packet. Let's put one of them on. Oh, it's got a nice wide strap, but only one strap, but it's not quite as wide as the other one, so it probably doesn't need two straps to see the other one's wider. So I think it can get away with one strap. It's not adjustable, like I said. It's filled with, I think it's, it's not sand, I think it's called iron shot. And apparently, if you're very rough with these, and if you break them open, they will actually spill little grains of sand or iron shot. So you want to be careful with these. But if you use regular regular use, apparently that's not a problem. So I'm threading it through the grommet. Is it going to fit? Oh my goodness, I have such a tiny wrist. I'm doing it on its tightest setting. There we go. All right, I would say that could be smaller. All right, let's see, is it going to move? So I'm putting it down, put it down. And then I'm going to put it up. It's shifting, but only a tiny bit. I have to be honest, I'd be pretty comfortable wearing that. It's covered in neoprene, which is kind of spongy, so it's quite comfortable. It's not, it's not bad to wear. I could definitely use this for my biceps. I could use this for my triceps, back deltoid, front deltoid. That is actually quite comfortable. I give that five stars for comfort, definitely. It fits pretty much, and I'm about as small as a wrist you're going to find, but it fitted. I'm pretty happy that it fitted. We'll give that five stars. Um, cost. So what did this cost? These come in sets of two, and this is the two pound one, which is grey, and it was $16. So 
for $16 here in July 2020. It took five days to arrive, it's pretty good. Um, you can't buy these in the store right now because all the stores are sold out because of the pandemic and everybody's buying weights to use at home. So you have to buy these things online. I actually thought it was a pretty decent price. If you wanted a one pound one of these, this is the nice thing. This is, who's it made by again? Pro, I don't know this company, Pro Source, Pro Source Fit. So um, they make a whole range, one pound, one and a half pound, two pound, two and a half pound, three pound or five pound. Obviously, if you wanted all the different weights, because they're not adjustable, you'd have to buy a set of all of them. And they range from the one pound one of these was $13 and the five pound one was $21. So there's a big spread of choices depending what you wanted. Um, so they're not adjustable, so I give that uh, one star. But five stars in terms of functionality, comfort, price, I was pretty pleased with these. And if you do buy other weights, like this is a two pound, like I said, if you buy, I think the one pound is red and the one and a half is green or something like that. So they each have a different color. So they're very easy. If you had a few on the floor, you could easily pick out the two of the same color. So that's your ankle. Oh, let's just make sure I put it on my ankle. We haven't tried that. We'll put it on my ankle. Now, if I was a very large ankle, I think it would still fit. I have pretty small ankles. And that fits pretty well. Well, that's very comfy. Oh, five stars for comfort. Yeah, I like that a lot, definitely. So that is great. So if you're doing enhanced fitness, I'm not sitting up straight, where's my posture? If you're taking enhanced fitness classes, hopefully three times a week, we recommend like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you are doing the weights three times a week, and that's excellent. If you wanted to do the dances on other days, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, go ahead, knock yourself out. But just do the weights three times a week because you want your, when you work with weights, you want to give a rest day in between weights so your body can just, you know, um, repair from any minor, you get minor, I don't want to say injuries, you, you get minor um, muscle soreness maybe when you work out and you need like a day or so to get that to just settle down and um, it's, it's a, a, you need a rest day basically when you work, if you're not familiar with working with weights. And these are low level weights, so it's okay just to have one day of rest. And then if you come back, if you were sore, if you've never worked out before and you had started using weights, you could come back and work with no weights. You can do all these exercises with no weights. So that would be fine. So those are some of the things that you can work out with when we're doing the weights section of our program. I'm so delighted that I got to show you all the different types of weights that I have. There are many more out there, of course. And enjoy your program. Have the most wonderful rest of your day. Have a really good week. And come and check out more of my videos. If you haven't already, make sure, make sure you subscribe. Remember, subscribing is free. It just means you're following me. You'll get my videos and you'll be able to stay up with all the latest information. Take care. Remember to try my other playlists. Each one is like a one hour class in the studio. And check out my other videos, including health and wellness tips, product reviews, and more. See you soon.